guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I thought today it would be fun to go ahead and draw Cassandra from Disney's Tangled Rapunzel's Adventure. And yeah, we've already drawn several other characters from Disney's Tangled Adventure, so I hope you will all go and check that out. So let's go ahead and get started with drawing Cassandra. So this is just going to be like her upper body pose. It's not going to be way too detailed. We're just gonna put her like, let's put her in our natural element at holding a sword and ready to fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing Cassandra's, let's place her face. So Cassandra has more of like, kind of a rounded triangle face. So go ahead and draw that and let's just place where the rest of her body is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and bring out this neck, her neck, and she's going to be turned to the side so I'm going to bring down this part right here which is her back and then we're going to go ahead and draw where her shoulder is going to go so I'm going to circle off a shoulder right here and then back here is going to be the rest of her arm so we're going to go ahead and bring out back the back of her arm I'm gonna go right back into her body. Alrighty. And then we're gonna go ahead, go up and circle back down. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and draw where her hand is gonna go for her sword. And of course her sword is gonna be back over here. I'm just gonna lightly draw where that sword's gonna go. Kind of up and to the side. All right, good enough. And then I'm gonna go ahead, bring out this arm, goes out. You're gonna bring out this part of her arm here. And then a circle for her hand. So it's all like connected. Like this arm's coming out just a little bit more so you understand what's going on. And then I'm just gonna bring in her chest a little bit get a little bit skinny here and we're just gonna go ahead and just loop this all together okay good now let's go ahead and start filling in some details now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and divide up her face and go ahead and establish that eye guideline alrighty now we need to keep her eyes really tiny so I'm gonna make them like, she's gonna start to look like an ant in my opinion. So I'm gonna round this up, round this down. So we're just gonna make this nice and skinny here and nice and skinny here. Kind of looks like seeds in a way. So I'm gonna keep these nice and small together because she has very, she has smaller squinty eyes it seems like, but she's still got really boxy eyelashes. So we've got her nose down here and then we're gonna go ahead and just go right here underneath her nose. We're gonna start her smile, go up. We're gonna go underneath there and connect to up here. All right, so let's start shaping up her eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one pupil iris area right here. Up at the top, kind of close to the bottom of her eye. Same over here, we're gonna go ahead and tuck it over here. Leave a little bit of that corner. All right, so we're gonna make these eyelashes angular like all the others. Go ahead and make this thick right here at the top. Bring this down. We're gonna go underneath. Make it nice and dark, kinda going towards the top of that eyelash. All right, same over here, we're gonna jump over here. Nice and thick up here. Bring this down. Bring out this eyelash. And go underneath so it's nice and thick down here. It gets close to here. We're gonna go ahead, bring up this eyelash going up in the corner. Really thick in the bottom corner. And then we're gonna bring up this eyelash too. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and fill in those pupils. Alright, 
I'm gonna put a shine in the eye right here, and then I'm gonna put a shine in the eye right here. Let's go ahead and draw her pupil. And then I'm gonna draw on her pupil here. Fill in the iris just a little bit. She's got dark green eyes. And then I'm actually gonna bring down one eyebrow going right on top of that eyelash. So it's gonna go right down here and start to corner off right here. Nice and thick. And then we're gonna have one right here too. It's gonna go right on top of that eyebrow, so like an eyelash line. So it's gonna go right on top and then her little curly bang is gonna go right there. So then from for her nose, you're just gonna bring swoop out, then swoop back in. And you're gonna shade underneath right here. And then I'm gonna shade on top of her nose. So that kind of the distinction of her nose, so shade right underneath. And then I'm gonna make what the top part of her lip, it goes up, dips down, goes up, goes right back out. Go ahead and darken this one. Bring out that other side just a little bit. Then you're gonna go down. Connect, I'm gonna go down again. Connect to up here, and one little line there, and you can lightly color this in, but the upper lip line is darker. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a couple of guidelines. All right, let's shape up her face just a little bit more and bring down the side of her head. You're gonna bring it down and go in towards that bottom of that chin. And it's gonna circle right back up. And then we have enough room for the, her hairstyle. So we really don't get to see her her ears either. So I'm gonna actually bring in this. I'm gonna start right here for her part. So I'm gonna go above this eye, bring out this part here. I'm gonna circle in, make that little curly cue. It's gonna go over that eyebrow. Go up. And I'm gonna bring out this one, bring out this side of her hair, go out this way, and it's gonna circle in, and it's gonna circle, go outwards. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit above right here, a little above this part of her hair. Bring this out, go in this way, go up. Go up, back in towards her head, and this part's gonna go out, flaunt out just a little bit, flaunt out, and then you're gonna keep it one level. So this one's kind of curled out, goes out, and it goes in, and you're gonna connect back up into here. So this one kind of goes out long side of her face and her neck, and then this side is one length. Bring this up. And then we can go ahead and just kind of like chop it up and separate it. So then her hair is actually gonna go right alongside. So we've got this bang that goes in front, goes up. Let's go ahead and get rid of some guidelines. We're gonna go ahead and start making this more look Cassandra, like Cassandra's hair. So we're gonna make a curly cue up in here. And Cassandra's hair is not divided by strands. It's divided by like different colors of like this grayish black and then black. So this curl's gonna go up and in. And then this one is going to be separated. So we're gonna go ahead and bring out this one and this one will be separated from the rest. So it goes down. And 
and that goes and it flows into each other. So it's all still one length except this one that's going outwards. And it's got, she's got a little curly cue off the side over here. And then over here, she's got another like stray hair. And then right here, she has another stray hair. And then the bottom is all kind of broken out. So this one, it's all one length still, but it's like separated. So you see you can go ahead and erase down here. And then for the separation, it's like different waves almost. So you're gonna bring down this part from the top. And then you've got another one that goes all the way down. all the way off to the side and like you got another like wave here and these are all kind of darker so they're like separated in darkness so for example this one is a dark piece of her hair and then this one going into her hair again is another really strong dark piece so it goes up all the way to the top And then you've got another section down here that's super dark. And then you've got another piece. This part is super dark. And her little flyaways are dark. This piece is dark. All right, and then the, uh, another black strand is going to be back behind this curl. So it's like light gray and then black. Light gray, black, light gray, black, and then under here. Alrighty, so the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the collar of her shirt. I'm gonna go down here and here. And then it's got like this, the collar of her shirt has this weird, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just very soldier-like. You're gonna go back this way and then up. And you're gonna curve around here. So you're gonna go to right here, box this off, go down, and then it's gonna connect here. And you have the other side of it over on this side, but it's just darker, so this is the rest of her back. And this is the rest of that part of that collar or whatever it is that's on top of her shirt. And then you've got her shoulder line. You want to leave that there. And then let's start with this hand back in front. I'm going to go ahead and bring out this side. You're going to curve this top up here. And then this part, you're going to just bring this out just a little bit more. So I'm going to bring out this part of her arm and we're gonna get we're gonna go a little bit closer to connect that wrist and then we're gonna go ahead and just square off the hand so we just brought that out just a little bit more make everything look a little bit more equal and I'm gonna bring up this little fold in the shirt and this part so it's like really a really baggy shirt and this part goes in so we got this part here and this part here and then her glove begins here and goes in and goes in. And then this part of her hand is gonna go up. You're gonna curve in and it's gonna start with her pinky. So this one goes in and this one's gonna go down here. And this one's, curve this one in. And you're gonna give a little bit of separation we have the middle finger and then the pointer finger. So bring this out and you're gonna start to curve this in. So it's the pinky in front and then you have a ring finger over here, a little separation outwards. 
and it's just gonna go straight down and you're gonna bring this in here and chop it off inside of her hand. So this part's out more, this one's above. And then you're gonna bring out her thumb. It's very boxy hands and then go back into her palm. And you can go ahead and just make the separation of the palm there. And then her glove has a lining at the bottom, but the rest of her glove is black. Then let's jump back to this arm. So from here, bring out this top of her arm. Then you're gonna bring down this side. So it's another big baggy. It's the other side of her big baggy shirt. So her elbow's a little down more. And you're gonna bring out this little crease to her arm. And then we're gonna keep nice and skinny on top because we're getting close to her wrist and so this is her glove and I bring this out on the side alrighty and then we're gonna go out in point her finger up and you're just gonna close it off so it's really easy for her grasping the sword and you're just gonna circle right in and we're gonna put the hilt of the sword in her hand. So you're gonna make this straight here. And you're gonna make a little mark here. Go up, in, and down. Like this, go in and down. Bring out this side of the hilt. Make a little spike. So these are actually spikes. And then the hilt's gonna go on through the other side. This gets really skinny towards the bottom. And you can bring out that diamond. So our sword's gonna go right in the middle and it gets skinny towards the top. I'm just gonna try to fill this in and try to make it to the top of the paper. Oh my goodness, I always run out of room. All right, I'm gonna imagine that. I'm gonna bring the point to here. There we go. That's a good enough size sword. And of course, divide it down the middle. Dual metal tone. And I can go ahead and darken this in here. And I can divide the hilt, make it more look more like a hilt. I can go ahead and get rid of this. And make that separation for her glove. Now for the rest of her back and towards the bottom of her torso. So starting from here, from her arm, we still bring out her chest, bring out this part going in. This part's still pretty straight all the way down. Bring this out. And we have another big, big baggy shirt kind of roll here. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a circle for her belt. Go inside, jump inside. And then we're gonna make a little hook for that belt. The belt's gonna go through and onto the other side. And then on top here, she's got a little dagger, so we're just gonna make like a little hilt. Go up. Circle on top, and then the blade is tucked underneath her belt. And then the rest of her belt's off to the side right here, and goes right back in. And you can go ahead and jump around and shade some spots, like underneath her neck, of course. There you go. There's how to draw Cassandra from Disney's Tangled Rapunzel's Adventures. It's a great, beautiful animation and cartoon series if you haven't seen it yet. 
I love it. I have not seen the third season yet because it's not on Disney Plus and that's how I was watching it. So you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!